it's time to start work on the deck boards that will span the pontoons. I'm embedding a 2x4 into the end of the rear deck board to have easy mounting points that I can screw into for my motor mounts. It also gives extra strength but adds some weight. The size of my deck boards were chosen to work well with my 39 inch wide chop strand mat fiberglass roll. I'm deliberately putting a slight warp into my deck boards to shed water towards the outside of the boat. Overall, I have two layers of chop strand mat on the entire top, plus a third layer in the center where the board is not supported by the pontoons. On the bottom, I have a single layer of chop strand mat over the entire area, plus two more layers in the center portion where the pontoons are not supporting the board. I also use some fiberglass tape around some of the edges. Three layers on each side of the three quarter inch insulation foam board provided a lot of rigidity and provided enough strength to support me standing on it, but it still deflected under my weight. I added on four cross bars with three layers of chop strand mat in the front part. There will be a seat across the back, plus it has the 2x4. This allows me to jump on the board without worrying about the strength. I'm using stainless steel hardware to mount these deck boards to the pontoons. I have to repeat this procedure twice to make the rest of the 64 square foot platform, then build a bench seat across the back before I can take it out on the water. Eventually, I'll probably add two side seats and perhaps a shade cover. This was the super fast overview video of making my first deck board. I'll make a second full-length video covering all of the details later on.